Welcome back, Monkey Nation. Last time we left off with Ivy running out of the room after finding out she definitely has a sister named Winifred Warrington. Let's try to figure out where she went and get to the bottom of this finally. Thought I saw her come this way, but she's not here. Where could she have gone? Wait. I recognize this place. This is where we found Ivy on that first day. There's that weird troll tapestry, which means there's a door around here. How did you find it before? I don't know. It just appeared when I was thinking about Ivy. Ivy, we're not afraid of you. We just want to help. Ivy? I told you not to follow me. And we totally ignored you, so let's move on. What are you doing? Looking for something. Looking for what? I'm not sure. Did you know this room is special? It gives you whatever you require. At the beginning of the year, I was lost, and so it allowed you to find me. That's right. And we found you again now. We just want to help, Bobby. But what if I don't want your help? What if... What if I don't deserve it? You saw what I did. I'm dangerous. I don't believe that. And if you really didn't want our help, then how did we get in here? Obviously, you still wanted to be found, so let us help you, please. I don't know. How can you help when I don't even know what I'm looking for? I think you do know, Ivy. Look at the trunk. You see? W.W. Winifred Warrington. This is your sister's trunk, Ivy. You were looking for her all along. Oh. Do you really think so? But I don't even remember her. And why would she be here? No, it's not Winifred. Something else. Something dangerous. Who is that? I don't know. Winifred? No, Ivy. Not Winifred. Think. You know who I am. No, it can't be. I don't believe it. Oh, but it is. Don't you see? I'm who you've been looking for all along. I'm the one who's been following you. I'm the girl who knows advanced magic. The girl who attacks her classmates. The girl who made her sister disappear. No! I am you, Ivy. No, you're not! Get behind me! Here, totem locomotive. What do you? Now you're in trouble. Thunderstorm. I'll get you for this. A pugno. Sendio. It's full, so. Acromantula Venom. Thunderstorm. A Pugno. Incendio. 
Explosive! Chill up, Venom. A pug now. Brilliant. Thunderstorm. I did it. I defeated her. What does that mean? I think I know. You said this room gives you whatever you require, right? Well, you needed to know if you were evil or not, so he created that dark witch to test you. And you passed. You're a good person, Ivy. Well, actually, you proved that every time you helped us during the year. <laughs> Which was a lot, by the way. Thank you. That means so much to me. I still need to find out what happened to my sister, and why I forgot her. But with your support, I know it's going to be all right. You're our friend, Ivy. We'll find the truth together. Yes, we will. Now, let's get out of here. Well, well, well. We here. Nothing, sir. You see, I got lost again. That's all. You don't look so lost to me. But you can tell your story to the head mistress. I'm sure she'll be interested to hear all about it. We have to go to the headmistress's office. Yes. She'd do it for us. Let's go! That's quite a tale, Miss Warrington. It's all true. At least, the parts I remember. Yes, your story does seem to be missing a few key facts. Fortunately, your recent disappearance required that we contact a guardian who, as it turns out, knows the entirety of the tale. Nana? Oh, my dear Ivy, this is my fault. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize hiding the truth would hurt you so. But you deserve to know all of it. Your sister was angry because you were going to Hogwarts, and she was not, even though you were both accepted. It's going to be all right, I promise. But we're supposed to go to school together. It was your muggle father's idea to hold Winifred back. Sometimes, when she was angry, her magic became unpredictable. He was afraid you might hurt someone. I'll talk to the professors at school. Maybe if they speak to father, he'll change his mind. You know he won't. He doesn't care. No one does. Especially not you. That's not true, Winnie. I care about you. I want us to be together. Then why are you leaving me? Stop it, Winnie! You'll get us into trouble! Good. Maybe Father won't let you go either. In that case, you won't be needing your trunk. Winifred, no! It was an accident. Winifred meant to cast Evanesco on your case, but she ended up hitting herself in the chaos. I found you alone in a desperate panic. Sister? No. Come back! I'm sorry! I found you alone, 
terrified and in so much pain. I couldn't leave you like that, so I cast a memory charm to make you forget. It wasn't my intention to erase the memory of your sister entirely. Did you bring her back? No. I tried everything I could think of, but nothing worked. I finally contacted the Ministry, but even with their help, we couldn't find her. I know it seems hopeless, Ivy, but I'll never stop searching. Winifred isn't gone. I will find her, I promise. I believe you. But if I didn't cast the spell, why do I know how to use Evanesco? I taught you that spell, along with many others. You used to have the same control problems as your sister, so I helped where I could. You got better, she did not. I'm afraid I'm not much of a teacher. On the contrary, Mrs. Warrington, I'd say you taught your granddaughter quite well. And while advanced magic would normally be a burden for someone not mature enough to wield it, the young Miss Warrington seems to have found all the guidance she needed in her fellow students. I'd still be lost if it weren't for my friends. So, I'm not going to be expelled? No, dear. I contacted the Ministry myself. They recognized that what happened was an accident. Indeed, it would be terrible to lose such a fine student such as yourself. Now, if that clears everything up... Actually, I have a question. Who gave Ivy the memory locket? I did. I couldn't take Winifred away, not completely. So I retrieved the most important memory. The truth about what happened. And placed it in the locket so she would always be close to Ivy's heart. I'm sorry the memory was so unclear. I was rushing, and must have damaged it in the process. That's all right. It gave me what I needed to find the truth about myself. That was enough. Oh, Ivy. I did the best I could. I hope you can forgive me. I do, Nana. But now... You have to help me remember. I don't want to forget my sister, even if the memories are painful. I will, dear. I promise. I guess that explains everything. I feel like there is a good lesson to take away from this story. Hiding the truth from someone just because they are young is not always the best method of dealing with things. While the writing for Ivy's story has not been the best in my opinion, this story does hit home with me. I too was separated from my brother at a young age. It was many years well into adulthood before we were able to reconnect. And like Ivy, people tried to hide the truth about things from both of us as well. Going as far as to tell my brother I had died. It is a mistake a lot of adults make, and I try my best not to make those kinds of mistakes with my own child. Kids can handle more than we give them credit for, and sheltering them from the real world is not always a good thing. Kids need to learn early, now more than ever before, to be self-sufficient, independent, free thinkers that question the world around them and can handle difficult situations. Anyways, I'm ranting now. So far, this game has been awesome and I'm really loving the story. It does still need some work on some of the graphics here and there, but so far this has definitely been one of my favorite games of the year. Only one more episode till the end of the first school year. Stay awesome, Monkey Nation, and I'll see you in the next one.